Hey everyone, this is Two Way Enthusiast. Um, just here to do a video about uh, home defense. Um, I see a lot of uh, a lot of different videos. People say different things. Some people say uh, 12 gauge shotguns the best thing. Some people like AR. Some people like nine mm Some people like 45s. Uh, what what some forget is that everyone has different circumstances, and everything has its pluses and its minuses. Um, you know, for example, here we have a 762 by 54R. If someone breaks in your house and is trying to do you harm, you might want to get them with one of these. Problem is, you'll probably end up getting a few of your neighbors too. It's a powerful round, especially if you live in an apartment building. Um, now, I've seen a lot of people um, who have suggested using uh, using 22 long rifle for, for self-defense. And, you know, it, it might not be that bad a choice. I mean... It certainly has its drawbacks. I mean, it's, it's a weak round compared to other other calibers. Um, you can look just look at that size difference there. Um, I mean, don't think it'd be my first choice, but uh, I'm actually here to present another option, an option that I have never uh, heard anyone else mention, and that I think might be the perfect home defense round. Without further ado. A subsonic 22 short. That's right, a subsonic 22 short. You might think I'm a little crazy for suggesting this, but there are some reasons why I think it might be just perfect for your needs. The first reason to use subsonic 22 short is that it's quiet. You can dispatch a gang of home invaders and you won't even wake the wife and kids. It's not much louder than your old cap gun. The second reason is less penetration. Normally you'd want a lot of penetration to uh, stop the bad guy, but it has the negative of damaging walls. Um, you'll save money on, on spackle and joint compound and the time uh, that you would need to fix the wall. This is going to save you time and money. You can't beat that. Third, less blood spatter. You know, you don't want to mess up those walls. And, uh, you know, a good gallon of paint might run you 50 bucks, plus all the time involved, and it won't match the other walls. So uh, it'll also save you a lot of time and work. Fourth, at about 10 cents a round, it's much cheaper than other calibers, and you're going to save money on spackle, paint, joint compound. It's really cost effective if you think about it. Finally, we come to a one and only con, which is uh, pissing off the bad guy resulting in your death by ass-kicking, gunshot, or stabbing. Now, granted, I mean, there's only one con. You might consider that a pretty big con. Um, I don't know. I, I might consider it a big con, but you have to weigh it with all the all the good stuff. I mean, you're saving money on spackle and, and joint compound and paint. I mean, that's hard to beat. At any rate, find the caliber that's right for you, and remember one thing, don't take me seriously. Really, it's better to spend the money on the spackle and the plaster. Have a good day, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tell all your friends about how great this video was and how they should use 22 short subsonic. See you later.